Um, my favorite part was actually the hands-on, so getting to um, actually do the 30 compressions and getting evaluated. Well, what I really liked about the program is that although um, CPR is not a requirement in the state of Michigan for high school um, graduation, um, it is a recommendation and I felt that it's a necessary skill for my students to have. I've always wanted to use CP or do CPR in the classroom, I just didn't really have the means to do that so without paying. So I guess the best thing about it is it's free. Um, and the students can do it at home, they can do it at school, but um, I really like that it's free and when we're looking for curriculum, that's, that's a plus. So, yeah. I think um, now that I know what I should be doing, I think I could help, maybe. With a little more practice than yeah, but absolutely, I should be ready. I do, I do. I think for, after practicing, I think it just becomes automatic. You know, um, we go through um, a partner assessment too, so we kind of added a piece to it. I do feel like they'd be ready to respond in an emergency situation. I feel like they, um, they've practiced the skill enough, they've watched it, um, I question them, there's some interaction, so I feel like, um, yeah, they'd be ready. Ms. Williams, she was an awesome instructor. She showed us when we didn't even know how to do it. Um, she helped us to make sure we did the right thing over and over again, so it was a lot of help. Well, what we did was we had the training of all the health teachers together um, when we decided that we were going to use this program. And every school is a little bit different in, you know, that I might not have the technology that other schools have. So for us, we decided as a district to um, to let the schools decide, but yet we made the program around the video. So we said we're going to watch the videos in class together. Because when we got into the computer lab, I didn't realize that all of the computers you needed to have headphones, and some of the kids didn't have them. Some of them weren't as engaged as I think they are when I have them in front of me. So we got into a group setting, we watched the video, and then we developed some um, partner assessment sheets from the materials that we got from you mm -hmm. and um, the part, we, they work with partners and then when the assessment is finished they're able to come up and test out with us in a group setting and it works really well. I mean it's bam 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 and you're in class and out and they've learned you know one or two skills that day. The video instructor was kind of um, direct. It was kind of uh, weird like because he the people that he was demonstrating on was like actors, so like they wasn't really choking, but they were choking a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, he showed us how to do it, and then Miss Williams just reiterated it, I guess. The video instructor, he was um, a lot of help too, also. Um, he showed us how to demonstrate on a real person, actually, but he wasn't really choking, but it was great to see how you interact with um, someone that's alive. The level was very appropriate for high school. Um, I think my kids did really well with the short segment videos and then um, applying that in class, being able to actually do those skills and then the test out in the groups was excellent. Um, I think they're comfortable with it and um, even the kids that started out saying, I'm not going to do that in front of people, ended up being the ones to come up first to test out. So my shy kids even were involved with it so that it involves every child is nice and they can do it at their own pace if need be. So if kids miss school, um, I have them go and review the videos at home and I can keep track of that. And then when they come in, then they can be ready to test out too and to, to, to go through the skill in class. The dashboard's really easy. I mean, if you can set up your class how you want to, if you want um, the kids to be able to, or they have to go through and watch the videos as an individual, then you can set that up that way. If you want to opt them out of it, you can do that. Um, I like that when they test, it pops up that you know you can check for their certification, and um, it's just it's very user friendly. It's easy. It's free, first of all, and it's very worthwhile. It's a, it's a skill that you know everyone should have. Um, and my kids said, "Oh, CPR! I don't want to do that. I don't want to put my mouth on that thing." And then when they realize that this is a skill that could save their mom, their dad, their sister, their own children. Um, then it becomes more valuable. And then the more that they get into it, they're like, oh, I think, you know, I can use this because I'm going to apply for this job. 
or I'm a babysitter and so this will just make me more marketable as a babysitter and people like that. So I think they, they decided that it was a useful tool and um, so the buy-in of the kids is great and that's always good when you're teaching a lesson, you know, to have the kids involved. Um, and again, it's user friendly, it's, um, it's an easy program and you can adapt it to your needs, which is a really good thing too. I think it should because it's saving someone's life, taking a risk and saving someone's life, and that's an awesome thing to feel and know that you did. So. Like everybody learn how to do it after high school, some people forget stuff, but if, if it's a possibility that just like the majority of whoever witnessed that could help, then that'd be great. I do. I do. It's very useful. I had to do it when I was a teenager, and um, it comes back like that. And I think that, every, I mean, just to have any kind of knowledge of it, to be able to help somebody out, it's, it's easy.